different. I'm not even going to say it no more. It's okay. <laughs> Yep, all right. Well, we're getting into this game. We've yes. talked about the Me Sword Fighter, but that's not what we're seeing from numbers. Instead, oh, it's wow, just yeah. the tried and true Wii Fit Trainer. That was actually, the game immediately started off with the down throw into side B. I think he was hoping that he would land on the platform, because if the opponent lands on a platform and misses their tech, and they get side B'd off of down throw, it is like 70%. It's horrifying. I definitely thought he was going to go um, Sword Fighter, just because Dill's Rob is so terrifying. Yeah, we might. If it, it's the sort of thing where if this game is very decisive for Dill, which mm -hmm. <laughs> right now that's looking like what it might be, um, then then uh, we might see the counter pick. But in the meantime, Numbers really duking it out with the Wii Fit. And even though he's down by quite a bit, this is deep breathing Wii yep. Fit. Oh my god, that almost killed. <gasps> but, uh, but, but did he actually but get the footstool? It's the footstool. Oh, but Dill brought it right back, said, you're funny. Let us run that back. <laughs> I can't believe that footstool. I thought that was a phantom really footstool, did. but no, he actually brought her down all the way into the blast zone. Mm -hmm. Okay, and now we have <laughs> once more this sort of situation with John Numbers being at the ledge. The normally where he loves to call home, mm -hmm. but at the same time against Rob, who is able to ledge trap very effectively. Sometimes he ends up taking a ton of damage for putting himself there. But looks like he's having great center stage control. And forcing Dill over to the ledge. Well, that should be another punish. He has mm -hmm. great coverage from uh, numbers right now. Question is whether he can think about maybe converting this into a kill at some point soon. You don't want Rob surviving with a ton of rage on his body because he's one of the scariest characters to be able to do that. Wow! I missed it. What was that? Yep. Was that forward tilt? I believe so. Uh, yeah, I believe that was for top. Yeah. But anyway, moving on in this game, numbers actually managing to really turn things around from how this game had started. Oh, I think the oh, the ball ended up making he ate so much damage, but he's alive and kicking. Possibly really kicking. Is he gonna down air? <laughs> I am cursed with prophecy. Oh no. All this and number still has rage on. Not rage. Breathe. Yeah, deep breathing runs out right there, and he still does have rage. Let's not forget that is extra damage, or an extra knockback rather. And we can see that at play, trying to go way deep there. I love the stall from numbers to try and, you know, actually find an opening past Rob's all of the stuttered recovery. And that's oh, gonna that's do gonna it. Be game. <gasps> wow. First round one. That was such oh. a clever up air right there. Managing to, like, I, get, I think that was actually poorly DI'd. If we could get mm -hmm. a, another look at that last stock here. Yeah, if we could get the zoom in. Uh, let's go back about 10 frames uh, over here. I think this was maybe some pause it. It looks like this was the angle when yep. it was straight up. I'm always confused by what determines the uh, the DI angle, but yeah, that was definitely some uh, questionable DI from Dill. But why, how, who would anticipate that up air being the edge guarding tool in that situation? All right, moving into game two here. Uh, things starting off pretty even, which is actually a bad sign if you are Dill. Oh no, you know it's a bad sign if you're Dill. If you're off stage like this against numbers, oh boy, managing to make it back but taking 89% mm -hmm. in the process. Yeah, because numbers is beastly off like off the stage, easily, uh, any, really anywhere on the on the on the screen, he's just, just scary. Easy can ledge guard you. Easy can keep you under here oh, and recover no. just like that. Like oh, that was actually a pivotal SD for Dill. Mm -hmm. Oh my god! Oh, whoa! <laughs> I, but the ricochet back into. See, oh I don't goodness. even know how that forward tilt missed. The, uh, the forward air missed. That was incredible from numbers. Just I, the hurt box shifting his way into an advantage. And now look at this. 92% on Dill. She cannot find an opening. She just trapped continuously, living a, a, a just a living hell. She's trying to still find an opening into numbers, but numbers has everything packed. He just he's yeah. easily finding a. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, okay, I thought that was gonna be it. 
okay, we now have numbers the one off stage. Yeah. That's going to be the stock. And <clears throat> once again, the push and pull, the way that the narrative changes based on who, you know, the, just the stock count here. You know, numbers definitely still has this lead, but Dill at 157, mm -hmm. you know, she absolutely, if she gets Gyro in hand, manages to catch Ooh. numbers at the ledge, numbers could die at this point. That's definitely something he is aware of and he is trying desperately to avoid. Oh man, 189% on Dill. Oh, that was a great like, <gasps> dodge. Oh, oh, my oh. oh my goodness. If that second forward tilt had actually won comboed into the gyro again, that might have been that might have been dead numbers for all we know. We've seen Dill do absolutely disgusting things off of that, you know, little sandwich trap. Now numbers is one. <gasps> oh! Numbers got first to it back. <laughs> an eye for an eye. What a gorgeous footstool to actually even up the stock count here. And all of a sudden, numbers advantage, which looked almost insurmountable. It's gone. We actually have Dill in the driver's seat already. 36% dealt onto numbers body. And he's struggling. Now he's the one struggling to find the opening as Dill. I mm -hmm. love the space she's occupying. He just cannot find a real opening. Look at the zone Oh, Dill is working to keep numbers off the stage. Okay, deep breathing now mm -hmm. in effect. It's uh, if this one doesn't add, I can't how did he dodge how did he dodge the laser? We uh, gotta, get a clip on that. Yeah, get a clip on that. Because that might have been some Z-axis stuff. I I don't even know if that's what happened. But anyway, uh nonetheless we have this this state of this game right now. They've been going really back and forth. Both of them kind of in the orange of percents. Although numbers now ooh. Oh. Numbers is the first one to reach that threshold that he might die. He has to play more careful now. Man, look how much damage that laser beam does. And a deep breathing activated could be easily Numbers game. <gasps> oh! Extending the hit lag from the uh, from the forward air actually costs Numbers. I think oh, this might be it. Depends on the mix-up. Great patience. Great. Yeah, and that looked like Numbers was absolutely in control, but no, in the end, just a fantastic mm -hmm. turnaround from Dill. And Keeping we're her head to see in the that. game, and it was th that, that edge guard yeah. made all of the difference. It's actually the exact same thing that happened with Numbers in game one, where it's like, oh no, I'm being down by so much, I'm getting beaten. Whoop, surprise footstool, and then takes back the game. And it happens game. just, oh my goodness. The return footstool, first of all. Yeah, that was such an beautiful. unfortunate SD. That was beautiful. Yeah. Uh, Not for numbers. Is this the... Yeah, this is the... Oh, yeah, we're trying okay, to find yeah. the... the yeah, yeah. Laser. Three, two, well, sorry, I believe that oh. Refit just ducked, like, at the right time. That's why I saw her just I, go flat for a second. I don't know. I have no idea. That was, it was so that, fast. I, genuinely, we have to go back and analyze that frame by frame, because yep. that was just bizarre. You, anyway, uh, getting yes. into this last game here, uh, now that's actually something we hadn't really seen numbers go for, is up tilt. In that last game, we fit's up tilt is a fantastic anti-air option. I mm -hmm. believe it comes out frame five. I believe the arm is intangible when she does it. And when numbers plays, that's one of his favorite ways to, you know, call out people just jumping in his face. And definitely Dill was doing a lot of jumping in that last game. So uh, I like that adaptation. And as a result, Dill has slowed down trying to stay away from him. She's going to be more patient this time. Oh, man, you saw that. That got reflected. That was so <gasps> close. <gasps> Numbers. Absolutely nasty off the stage. That was so good. Definitely, you know, Dill could have teched it, but just really hard to get the timing on that, especially mm -hmm. when you're already underneath the stage. And it seems so unexpected as well. Yeah. How often do you practice your under the stage techs, though? Because it is yes. a different timing than getting, you know, hit into the wall. Anyway, this is once more numbers looking like he's in absolute control, but we already mm -hmm. saw that that, you know... It can go it, right back to Dill's game. Yep, really it is could. ephemeral. Especially if Dill finds another big play, big opener off stage. Maybe no, it's wow. Numbers who makes another big off stage play. That reverse edge guard now puts him in such a dominant position. 
he's in such an advantage right now. It could easily, even if he like loses this one stock, he's still in a great advantage. Oh, yeah. He is safe for at least two stocks. Yeah. Granted, if those two stocks go, all of a sudden he has to start sweating. But I don't even know if we're going to get to that point oh, because no. look at the way that Numbers is playing spacing. Finally, a forward air lands, but forward air isn't enough to actually take the stock. Oh, that might be death. Yep. Yeah. Oh. An excellent game by John and Dill. Yeah. But in that game, the, 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 there were two SDs from Dill, if I remember correctly. Uh, one in game two and then also in that game three. Although in that game three, that felt like it was kind of a, uh, it was yeah. more of a mercy, <laughs> mercy SD. Yeah, look, he's so it's like more awkward of a uh, timing than you think because of where the ball hit. It hit no. above Rob. Yeah. And then it just, that's so unexpected. I, I don't think anyone could really take that unless you're just hoping for the best. <laughs> yeah. That game three was a three star. Mm -hmm. So numbers figuring out the Rob matchup. You know, he was complaining. He was just, I remember he was just like, I have my wish, wish list for how to nerf Rob.